All right, you guys, we are starting Monday at the Dusty Butt. Monday. Monday. I don't know if that was actually just a gang sign. If that was a gang sign, I'm sorry. I mean, we no affiliation. <laughs> I doubt many of our watchers are affiliated with gangs. Maybe you guys are into yeah. that. But yeah, we are going to um, jump into a little bit of work, have a meeting, mm -hmm. and plan out the rest of our week. And we're kind of doing a new strategy around this whole cold calling slash sales stuff that I'm doing. Yeah. Um, so we're reading this book called What's it From called? Impossible to Inevitable. From Impossible to Inevitable. By Jason Lemkin and Aaron Ross. Yeah, so like the Saster people. And um, they actually have pitches in there, like template pitches, which is like, what the heck? <laughs> it's like one chapter away from reading this. So I'm gonna go through and um, rework some of our pitches and also create like a quick 30 second video um, that I can attach to emails or just put out there for people to watch that's, you know, because we already created a case study right. with people that use our product now. So I'm going to chop up that case study into a quick like 30 second video that I can just send to people so they actually know that we're real. Yep. Because right now we're still in the process of finalizing the some white label product and, stuff, and yeah. some features and all that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that is going to be our Monday morning right now. Excited. Always awesome to start the week, kind of plan, strategy, figure out how you're going to dominate. And uh, so I'm excited. I love coming into these morning meetings. We've been doing this the last couple of weeks. Yeah, and they, they really work because yeah. pretty much for the week I'm siloed off doing like whatever yeah. it is that I'm tasked with this week, either <laughs> yeah. Yeah. whatever. Um, and then we come back together sometimes on Friday, yeah. but this week will be different because... Um, we fly out on Friday. Yeah, we fly out to Vegas on Friday. So we're taking you guys with for that. And that's because Josh built some software for the thing for SAP mm -hmm. that they'll be using on the event. So we get to go to Vegas and watch it work. Yeah, it'll be exciting. All right, you guys. So I am currently rewording our pitches or my pitches to our prospective clients. And what I learned this weekend after reading Inevitable Impossible to inevitable, and what is it? From impossible to inevitable. Whatever, I don't get understand the title. <laughs> From impossible to inevitable. Um, and is that when you're pitching somebody, you actually need to phrase it in more of a solution base because people buy solutions to problems. They don't buy products or features. So instead of saying, this is what our product does, it's actually better to state what the problem is that they're facing and you figure out what their problem is by doing research. And so last week when we were doing client interviews, we actually found out why our clients were using our product and the exact problems that they were facing before they used our product and how those problems you know, changed or got eliminated from using our software. So taking that knowledge with the different groups of people and now formatting our pitches to be like, hey, so you remember, you know how you have this problem? Well, our solution fixes, our solution offers this. So then you state the benefit and then you give an example, like a case study, one sentence. So, so-and-so saves this amount of money because of doing this. Um, so that's what I'm doing. So there's three different types of people that we're targeting at the auto dealerships. And I am writing different pitches based on those different um, job titles and the different benefits that they would get um, from using the software, which is all based on the research that I did last week by interviewing these particular different um, groups of people and finding their exact pain points. So that's what I'm doing. But right now, I'm going to eat this with him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's a guy who profiles on LinkedIn, Twitter. Facebook. <laughs> Alright you guys, we are heading home to eat more food. 
We are back at our home office and I just got an email. So earlier this year I had met with MongoDB and talked with them and then they reached out to me and told me to apply for their conference and that they were going to like, have me on a panel. Well, I just got the email response saying, rejected, <laughs> um, that I did not uh, get picked to be on the panel this year. So, whatever. Um, a little bummed because it would have been really, really fun, but hopefully Josh and I will still be in attendance at MongoDB World 2018 in New York City. Even though I won't be on a panel or speaking, it'll still be fun because they throw a great conference and a great after party. <laughs> so, Josh and I will be looking forward to that. Woo -woo. Yeah. <laughs> so, one of the things with um, you know, putting yourself out there for jobs or speaking or tutorials or even just on social media in general, you're going to face rejection either way. So it just is what it is. You just have to pick yourself up and keep going. Hello, beautiful. <laughs> Ready for a wedding. That's right. We're going to Josh's old co-worker's wedding, but I mean they're friends, obviously. Yeah. Um, but he lives in California right now. Yep. He works at Facebook, but he's from Florida, and his fiance is too. And so they're going to get hitched today. We got to go celebrate with them. Don't mind my messy bathroom. I'm super excited. Yeah, I'm too. We're on the black on black look. Yeah. We're all blacked out. Yeah. you guys all right we just got home from the wedding and we are undressing and we are gonna call it a night thank you guys for joining us today stay tuned for the next one Later. <laughs> don't forget oh yeah to subscribe yes and thumbs up if you like this video and share it yeah thank you guys thanks guys mm -hmm.